Defense and Space News TV report. Indian Super Sukhoi vs China's Su-35. Which is the best? Let's discuss about that. India's fleet of Su-30 MKI fighter jets are finally undergoing the Super Sukhoi upgrade program. The F would have almost 270 Sukhoi 30 MKIs by 2017 and the F headquarters plans all them to be upgraded to the near 5th generation level and the F has decided to name them as Super Sukhoi. For a long time, the only thing we knew about the proposed Su-30 MK upgrades was the name of the program, Sukhoi Super 30. There was no information about the technical specifications, timeline or costs. Commentators often confuse Sukhoi Super 30 with another upgrade program that aims to integrate the Su-30 MK with the air-launched version of the BrahMos anti-ship cruise missile. These are in fact two independent and unrelated projects. Brahmos will be installed on only 4042 planes. The program has already reached a fairly advanced phase of flight testing to ascertain mechanical compatibility of the Brahmos A air launched missile with a reinforced Su 30 MK frame. Live missile launches have already commenced. The Sukhoi Super 30 program, on the other hand, will be rolled out to the entire Indian fleet of Su-30 MK fighters, it has yet to begin in earnest, and up until recently, there was very little information about it in the public domain. The estimated cost of the Super Sukhoi 30 program is $10-12 billion. China's induction of the Su-35 jet, Sukhoi's Su-35S is a 4 generation aircraft that employs 5th generation technologies. It is superior to most 4th generation fighters that are currently being developed worldwide. The Su-35S is armed with the newest types of air-to-air -air and air-to-surface guided missiles, including long-range types. The core of the Su-35S armament is a new radar control system with a phased antenna array, ERBIC. It features unique capabilities in terms of the target detection range. There is a pressing need for speeding up the Su-30 MK program in order to restore the Indian Air Force's technological superiority over the Chinese. Essentially, India needs to pull off the same trick it did in the mid-1990s, when it responded to China's mass procurement of Su-27-30 fighters with the original Su-30 MK program. Two decades on, India needs to respond to China's Su-35 and J-31 jets with the Sukhoi Super 30. India's Super Sukhoi's the Super Sukhois will be kitted with Russian Fazadron Zucky Active Electronically Scanned Array ASA, radars. The X-band radar can track 30 aerial targets in the track while scan mode and engage 6 targets simultaneously in attack mode. ASA technology offers improved performance and reliability compared with traditional mechanically scanned array radars. During MK trials their Zucky ASA radar demonstrated significant capabilities, including ground mapping modes and the ability to detect and track aerial targets. The upgrade will also involve equipping all jets with standoff missiles with a range of 300 km. In Super Sukhoi, the electronics will be upgraded heavily and the Super Sukhois will carry more weapon loads compared to the Su-35. Super Sukhoi will have same engine as in FGFA. It will enhance the life cycle of Su-13 Kais. However, first aircraft will be upgraded in two years time. Super Sukhoi's deep penetrating BrahMos missile will make it the deadliest fighter jet on the planet after the F-22 Raptor and number one in dogfight capabilities and maneuverability. There are basic differences between Indian and Chinese Su-30s as the power plants do not match. 
On other counts also the Indian Su-30 is far more superior than the Chinese Su-30s which compelled them to opt for the Su-35. But India has again maintained its Air Force's technological superiority by choosing to upgrade all of its 272 Su-30 MKIs to Super Sukhoi standards that make them virtually fifth generation fighter jets. Do subscribe and click the bell icon. Thanks for watching.